Hey guys, it's me again. We drop a mission. I wanna spend the night sipping on you. You know what I'm talking about, babe. Yeah. And I'm back with another hair review tutorial kind of like thing. Yeah. So today I just like did my hair like this. And like I did this goddess lock kind of thing. And I used a frontal because I'm not about to crochet this into my real hair. And I was like trying to see if anybody else has done this frontal thing. And only two people have done this so far. So that makes me number three to do this style and yeah so I'm just gonna insert a clip of everything I used in this review so yeah that's everything I used um, to make this wig and now I'm just gonna insert some clips of me styling this wig, putting it on, and yeah.
Okay. Oh Jesus. So basically, I wanted to do goddess locks for my pre-birthday hairstyle because I just wanted something different. And then on my birthday, of course, I'm going to be wearing the 30 inch hair that I did the hair unboxing video on. So if you want to see the unboxing for my 30 inch bundles, click up here. So yeah, um, basically all I did was, I know I didn't like record myself making the wig because honestly, I didn't think it was going to turn out good because I didn't know how to wrap the hair. So it, it, I didn't think it was going to turn out. That's why I didn't record it. So basically, so basically all I did was, um, it's a cornrow cap. So there's cornrows on the cap and I just crocheted, regular crocheted the locks onto the back, but I spaced it out because I felt like I wasn't going to have enough hair. And lo and behold, I didn't have enough hair. So six packs definitely is not enough. I mean, if you're doing it on your regular hair, it might be because my sister said she only used four packs when she did it on her hair. I don't know how she managed to do that, but she did and hers was full. So I guess because she sectioned her hair big, like her parts were bigger, that's why she used less hair. But since it was a cap, I couldn't control how many cornrows were on the cap. So yeah. So six packs definitely isn't enough. If you plan on doing it this way, I definitely recommend you getting at least eight packs because in the back, I got like some braids that don't got anything on it, on it at all. So yeah, because I def that's why I had to add um this hair, this like free trust kind of curly hair. Because honestly, I wanted it to be like a bohemian look. I didn't just want there to be like just dreads because I don't know. I wanted, I wanted to do something different. Plus, I didn't see anyone else add this into their hair like they used it like to wrap the ends but they didn't like just crochet it in so I was like I'm gonna be different and crochet it into my head and I actually like the way it looks like this one's kind of like puffy but on this side like it just looks cute to me like I just like it so oh god and this lace frontal um this lace was hard to glue like the got to be glue was not working I had to use like three layers of it just to glue this down and like the front glued but maybe it's just the ears i think that's with everybody but the ear tabs will not glue that's why i had to put baby hairs over it because i knew like the gel would stick to my head so if i put baby hairs on top that means the lace would stick so that's like my secret code so yeah these like the baby hairs i did i know it's like a lot but like i just wanted to be dramatic today and adding this feather thing in was so hard because when you get the feather it's like closed so i didn't i'm sorry my deodorant i didn't know how i was supposed to open it i just told me to use pliers but like i couldn't find the pliers and i tried to crochet it on but that didn't work either so basically i just got my scissors and like where the like little opening is i don't think you can see it because the lights right there there's like a little opening that you can't pull i just like got scissors and i chopped it and it like opened so that's why i got this right here and i just like squeezed it to close it back around so yeah, that's how I got the feather there. And these little clips, they just come like this. And I just like slid it up. I tried to like stretch it out, but they don't really stretch out. So that wasn't working. And I wanted to get those little, see the tabs, you don't want to see them. I wanted to get those little strings, but the beauty supply store by my house only had pink and purple. And like, I don't want pink and purple on my hair. Like pink, purple, and silver, that's too much. Plus, if I'm, like, wearing orange, I'm going to look like a clown. So, that's why I wanted gold or silver, but they didn't have that. So, if I do find gold and silver, I will add it onto my wig. And yeah. Let me just spray some water on this curly hair and see if it'll tame it a little. Because I don't want it to get frizzy. Then I'm going to have to take it out. Oh, it does. It calms it. It, like, makes it less poofy. Yeah. Oh, found a new trick. Oh, and when the hair comes, it looks like this. And see, when you crochet it in like that, it doesn't really look as cute. So that's why I like separated it to make it like poofy and it looks better. So yeah, I'm gonna just spray water on these pieces. They won't be so poofy. Yeah. And see, like some of the hair like does not want to stay in the dread. Like I literally tried everything and they like some pieces just want to pop out like that so yeah i love this hairstyle it's really cute i'm gonna be wearing this hairstyle for like three days it's my birthday on thursday and i'm about to be looking like a snack but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video 
because I definitely love this hair. And thank you to Sam's Beauty for sending me all the products and like things I needed because I needed a lot to do this. Like this is low key an expensive hairstyle if you use a frontal. If you do it on your regular hair, it's not that expensive, but I have to make everything into a wig. And I think this turned out really cute. So if you like this video, if you like this video, if you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up, leave a like, comment and subscribe. Love you guys. We're on the sat 500 subscribers. Like, the Noya gang is growing. So, yeah. Love you guys. Oh my god, I freaking hate the ear tabs. And I don't want to add too much glue before I make myself go bald. But I don't know what to do. I don't know. Oh, and I forgot. The frontal, did I already say this? I don't know if I said this, but the frontal, when you put rubber bands, make sure you braid the hair down. Don't like just leave it and try to wrap it because it's not going to stay. You have to braid it, put a rubber band at the top, like up here there's rubber bands, but yeah, put rubber bands and then put mousse on the braid before you wrap it and it'll make it easier for you to wrap it around. So yeah. Love you guys. Peace.